Good evening, everyone. I am first a rider. I'm neither an inspirational speaker, nor a management guru, nor a leadership coach. Um, and nor am I talking to you about certain disruptions. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm going to talk to you about simple, some life lessons of mine over the years, which might be very relatable to you. And on that front, lo and behold, I want to talk to you about my failures, some four failures of my life. <clears throat> Everyone fantasizes about their first job. It's a dream. It's like your first love. My first job, after having taken a lot of interviews post my graduation, was to sell AMC of printers. Can you beat that? Who does that? Then, after I did that job, I went to IM Lucknow. Uh, Luck smiled for me for some time. And there, I was one of the lowest rankers, the lowest grade point averages uh, in the entire batch. Closer to work, the third thing, when we started Puma in India, uh, about 10 years back, our first year was full of mistakes, full of failures. We thought that the best way to succeed would be to look around, look at successful organizations, hire people from there, look at some industry practices, best practices, put them in, and all of them failed. And the fourth one is a very personal thing of mine. I really sucked at sports and fitness when I was growing up. And I could not relate to it. I have never been a sports guy. I've never been, uh, I've never, never seen a fitness center probably till my first 20, 20, for the first 20, 22 years of my life. So what I'm trying to say is that a lot of people say failures are pillars of success. And I think it's very glorified. I think in my opinion, failures remain with you. They stick to you. They are your moments of truth, which actually inspire you for redeeming your life in future. And I'm going to tell you a bit about some of these failures that I had and what, it, what impact it led in my life. First and foremost, when I was selling door-to-door -door printer AMC contracts, and in fact, I was looking for printers door-to-door -door and uh, uh, looking for faulty printers, to be precise. Um, and today, when I look back on that life of mine, I see that I don't belittle any work. The very fact that my management style today is very hands-on probably has to go to do with that. Um, and I also realize that irrespective of the job that you do, the company that you work for, there is a large part of your work which is very mundane, repetitive. So let's say it's 70% for me, and it might change for everyone. The rest 30% is the more creative juice and the strategic and the innovative work that you do. But all of us today have to do certain mundane, repetitive jo job. Um, and that's the balance that is required in professional life. And I related back to what I did when I had failed getting a great first job. Second, I landed myself in IIM Lucknow, esteemed colleagues, great people from IITs, from the best colleges in the world. and. I was very happy, and I realized, after some time, I had probably the lowest grade point averages among a lot of us. Today, when I look back, again, it gives me the great feeling, the inspiration, that irrespective of how great a company you have and how great an idea you have landed yourself, unless and until you yearn for success, success is not going to come. I did not yearn for success at my academics at IIM, and that really showed in my performance. Today, I know that it is not a great idea, it's not a great private equity investment on a great business idea which makes it successful. Otherwise, everyone would be. It is how desperate and how much you yearn for success. And that's a learning comes from my back in the days failure at IIM. Not failure, I passed, but I just. Uh, the third thing, the failure, when we started Puma, one of the late, last entrants in the space of sports, actually the last entrant, about a decade back in 2006. And when you look back today, we're the market leaders, the biggest brand, global brand in sports and lifestyle, the first to reach profitability in three years' time, one of the most exciting brands. However, when you look back, 
When we look back into our first year, and I remember, I thought the best way to succeed would be to look at the market leader, hire two, three people from there, look at the trade terms and business norms in the, in, in the best uh, companies around, and that leads to success. Unfortunately, that doesn't. Your success depends on the stage that the, your brand is, and you have to charter your own success and not follow the reasons of success for somebody else. At the end, it's about sports and fitness. I was never up to it. But I, I realized that one cannot lead a leading sportswear in the, in the country, a sportswear brand in the country, without relating to the consumer. And I turned it around, and today I take my young people in my office to task on every kind of sports that they play, and I take it very passionately. I have enjoyed sports and fitness like never before. So whenever I look back and think I was not an athlete, it pushes me that much harder. At the end, I would like to tell you this, that people say forget your past, forget failures, get on with life. I would say keep your failures. They are your moments of truth. They should live within you till one's death. Thank you. Thank you.